Good morning, or good evening. Sorry, we've done a few of these, but uh, thanks for coming back. Uh, really excited about this one. Um, Hassan's a player we've pursued multiple times in free agency. We've chased him through trades with the Heat. Um, we finally found some traction. Uh, it was a pleasure working with Andy Ellsberg and Coach Riley. Um, I think they're happy for the opportunity Hassan's going to get with us, and obviously we're thrilled to have him. So with that, we'll open it up to questions. Um, what makes me excited about joining here is just uh, just the movement and um, just how much how much they, they they did in these last couple of years. You know, going to the Western Conference Finals multiple years, and um, they got two guard guys that you got to guard when they get out their car in the parking lot. So, I mean, you got to pick them up so when they get out the car. So, um, them guys is big time shooters. Uh, I, f I think it's. I think if describe a, um, a a perfect situation. You know, uh, you ever been on the beach, just chilling and drinking a nice water, looking out at the sunset? That's what I feel. Water. Yeah, we'll give them opportunities. I mean, um, some of our – we're going to look at the same things that we, we do and, you know, just uh, whether it's tight passes or just being a facilitator, but uh, being able to post, pass out of the post, but certainly from the elbow or up on top in, in a couple of our sets. So uh, you can be a passer. You can be a dribble handoff guy. Uh, you can be a pass and chase into ball screens. So we'll put them in a lot of the same situations that we put Nurk in. Yeah, I love passing. So, you know, I'm a, I am love, I'm looking for the opportunity. You know, um, just, like I said, the, the offense, they got, they got so much movement. It's just, it's just a, a way different thing than just your standard pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll. And um, I've been looking at the offense a lot. It's, it's the reason why I was top three last year in the NBA. We obviously learned in Miami. What happened there? You were such a good favorite, and things kind of went um, you know, I, I had a couple of injuries, but, uh, you know, I don't think it was anything happened bad in Miami. I just feel like this was a better fit, you know, and, um, and this, this was a better fit for me, you know, and uh, I feel like Miami felt the same way. Um, I think the relationship, uh, it was also with um, CJ, too. I think it, it just developed through free agency, you know, and um, just talking to him and, uh, you know, just becoming like, he's just, he just a cool dude. I didn't really realize, like, you, you, you look at players different on the court, but once you, like, hang out with them and see how down to earth a person is, I, I feel like it was more so natural. No, no. I mean, I, I don't. I don't really. I don't really. I won't really say recruiting. I just say um, we just we just hung out and just you know um, just talked. Ah uh, man, uh, so nice, man. Those people are so nice in Portland. You know, um, I, I heard so many welcome to Portland's. You know, it's. It's, it's really, they really embrace me. You know, it feels like a, a close-knit town that really loves the Blazers, you know. And um, I tell people all the time, like, this is like the only arena where you can come out in the layup line and when you go warm up, you look into the stands, it's like 60% of the fans already waiting on you, you know. Well, you know, going back with uh, Robin Lopez, you know, having a, uh, a presence in the paint helped us be a top 10 defense. Uh, last year with, uh, with Nurk, same thing. I think uh, with, his, with his length, with the, he'll be able to deter shots, obviously. Uh, he's a terrific rebounder outside of his area. Um, you know, that's, 
you know, we can improve defensively in other areas, but having a guy like Hassan back there gives everybody else confidence to maybe be a little bit more aggressive, uh, maybe changing up some of our defensive schemes, but we're going to rely on him a lot uh, just to be the anchor back there. And we've had success when we've had that kind of player back there. Neil, uh, obviously Hassan is a, is a great player in his own right, but with the injury to, to Yusuf, how important was it to, to address that position in the offseason? Well, it was critical. I mean, I think, you know, we were, we were very fortunate last year that, you know, Ennis joined us, you know, out of the buyout market, which was, you know, kind of a unique situation we weren't expecting. But to get an all-star caliber center, um, you know, one of the guys who's probably, you know, has been a defensive player of the year candidate, you know, via trade at a position of need was, was critical. You know, we want to, we don't want to be complacent about the success we had last year. We want to build on that. Um, we had some challenges in terms of our flexibility this off season. We knew we were going to have limited tools at our disposal to kind of build on the roster based on free agent status and things like that. But, you know, we had talked about, you know, trying to capitalize on the contracts from 2016. And those guys were, they were really good for us. They all contributed in their own way. But we needed to aggregate some of those contracts and turn them into starting, you know, starting positional players. And like I said, it was very fortunate that the way the deal broke with, you know, having four teams and knowing some of the challenges they were facing in terms of making the money work allowed us to jump in as the fourth team and get a guy, like I said, that, you know, was our prime target in free agency three years ago. And, you know, he stayed home in Miami as he should. They were the team that developed him. Uh, when he got back to the league. But, you know, we stayed on it. We continued to monitor his progress. We knew he was a great fit for the team. Um, and I always can tell when I get great reactions from our players about trades. And to a man, the number of texts I got about us acquiring Hassan and them knowing what that is going to do for them, you know, and the impact he's going to have gives me a lot of confidence that was the right decision. Neil, do you kind of feel like this signals that you guys are in go-for-it mode? Look, I don't know when we haven't been go for it. Um, I, I think, you know, at times, I think people mistake a lack of tools at times for not being willing to go for it. Um, you know, when we had Paul, God, bless, God rest his soul, I mean, every day was go for it. It was just different ways to go for it. I mean, like we've talked about, you know, team doesn't beat market in free agency. It just doesn't. Um, and historically go through it. It doesn't. But when you make opportunistic trades, when you draft well, when you have great coaching that develops your players, when you have coaches that can maximize their performance on the court and have them outproduce those contracts, you have a chance to compete at a high level. I think, I think it's sometimes it becomes a little bit of, you know, name awareness, as associating name awareness with going for it. You know, clearly we went for it last year. We were in the Western Conference Finals. Um, we did. We have been. I mean, we didn't, we didn't, when we lost, you know, a free agent a few years ago, we didn't tank and expect our fan base to sit back for three to five years, hoping we'd pick in the top five every year. You know, we built around Dame and CJ, we brought pieces in, but we did it in a way that was going to be sustainable, we felt. But it wasn't a quick fix and get out. So, like I said, I think what's unique about this offseason is that from the outside looking in, it didn't look like we had a lot of tools to improve upon the roster last year, because in some regards, that was the apex of that roster, right? Everything that we had acquired was an in addition to instead of an instead of. Um, you know, we, we, the, the way we acquired Rodney Hood, getting Ennis in the buyout market. But when you look this year, we really capitalized on the tools that are, you know, are, are um, you know, the tools that we had, we capitalized on without affecting any future flexibility. So that, that, that was critical as well. You know, we didn't sell out and hamstring the franchise out into the future. This is still a sustainable roster. One of the things I'm most happy with is, you know, Kent Bazemore and Hassan are now bird players. You know, last year, Rodney and Ennis were non-bird players. That affected our ability to re-sign those guys. So the fact that we now have the ability to keep guys in our family, and one of the things we've talked about is our player retention rate is pretty solid. You know, like Hassan said, when they get to Portland, when they buy into the culture, when they prioritize basketball, when they embrace the city and the passion that it has for the Trailblazers, that's the edge we need. From the outside looking in, we face multiple challenges, and they're hard to overcome at times. Charm, 
Oh, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think it was. In, I mean, anybody that was around me in the locker room, my teammates and all that, you know, it was, it was a, it was a great environment for us, you know. And um, I was there for six years, you know. We, we definitely gonna have our ups and downs, you know, through the through the six years. But uh, I think it was definitely more more good than bad, you know. And um, I can still talk. I can still call anybody today, Pat, Coach Spo. Any of the teams, we still laugh it up, and you know, I don't, I don't really think it was a problem because if it was that big a problem, it would have been, it would have, I wouldn't have been there that long. We would have been able to trade for him a while ago. <laughs> um, how much, I, how much I care, you know, how much I care, you know, um, I think, I think, I think. A lot of a lot of stuff. And if if we did have a problem, it was because we was losing, you know. And um, and as a competitor, you always wanna wanna win, man. You know, I, I felt like I felt like it was a down year if, since we didn't make the playoffs, you know. And um, and, and and that does something to you in the off season, you know. Guys thinking about it, you at home watching, watching other teams play, you know. You want to be out there, you know. And um. I, th I think that's what I really want them to know, that how much I care about working and, and getting better, you know. And um, I, this is a fresh start. And, and I, realistically, um, I, really, I, I really think this team is on the verge of doing something really special. Let me push this in.